Welcome to the Pauling County Board of Commissioners June 24, 2014 board meeting. We'll welcome all our invited guests and try to look around the room to see if there's any elected officials. Uh, congratulations and I recognize you being here. Uh, for our invocation and pledge, uh, we have Pastor Benjamin Nelson with Foursquare International Church. If you'll come to the lectern. And we have the presentation of colors right after that by Boy Scout Troop 687. So thank you all for being here. Would you stand with me if you're able? Let's buy it. Father, we're so grateful and we're so thankful for such a time as this that you call us to do business. You said in business be a man. And God, we pray right now, God, that you will come into the midst of us right now, that you will bless us, give us wisdom, give us knowledge. God, we pray for Paulding County. We pray for every council member. We pray for the chairman. God, we pray, God, that you will move in a mighty way throughout Paulding County. God, we pray for your grace and your mercy be poured out upon us. God, we pray, God, that you will lead, direct us. I pray in the name of Jesus. And we are so thankful. Bless our families. Bless every child, every home, we pray throughout Paulding County. And God, we give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Color guard attention. Color guard forward march. Color guard halt. Prepare to post the colors. Color guard post the colors. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Color guard about face. Color guard retreat. Boy Scouts don't even soft shoe or anything. They don't know what soft shoe is. They have to do
on the May 27, 2014 work session minutes and the May 27, 2014 board meeting minutes and the June 5, 2014 special call meeting minutes and the June 18, 2014 public meeting minutes. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries 4 up. No announcements, no invited guests. On bid awards, Action to award the low bidder Hardy Family Ford in the amount of $71,957 to replace an F-350 service truck with an F-650 service truck for the water system department using the state contract pricing program. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries four of them. There's no reports from committees and departments. Uh, this is part of our public participation. We sign up ahead of time or before the meeting. And uh, Kathy Hounds is asked to uh, come speak at 191 Old Road, Rockmark, Georgia, on uh, new business item number four. talk about this change order for a plateau excavation <clears throat> in the amount of $176,856.60. We heard earlier in the work session this morning that apparently the LPA group had made a mistake with the design, the original design. I'm not sure what they did or how that happened or why it happened. Um, but I think I heard that they said that it was noticed at the end of the completion in 2008, and I'm, I'm thinking that probably when we had all that rain in 2009 is when they had the blowout, I'm, I'm not sure. But I'm just a little perplexed as to why it took so long for us to address this. If it happened, you know, in 2008 or 2009, why are we just now looking at this? Why wasn't this taken care of long ago? <clears throat> Um, I also heard them say that not all the grant money had been used, so this extra 176000 could come out of there. Are we going to be done after this, or is there still going to be more work? Because we're getting real close to that maximum, of, what was the $2.5 million grant that we got? Then who is responsible for the payment for the difference? Where, where does, when, when that money ends, then do the taxpayer money kick in to pay for the rest? We don't know. <clears throat> Um, and FAA money, and we've gone over this many times before, really does come from the taxpayers. Um, not in the same form that, that we normally see with property taxes, but when we buy an airline ticket. So again, this is all taxpayer money, whether it's a grant, taxes, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, we also talked, there was a $40,000 mistake um, on the spreadsheet. Um, you know, I'm in business for myself, and I'm very, very careful and try to make sure that I double-check everything before it goes. Now, understand mistakes happen, but $40,000 is pretty big. That's a lot of money to me. Um, <clears throat> now, I want to talk about the dirt. They said that they were going to raise it up as it should have been designed to begin with, to raise the slope. Where's the dirt going to come from? That's pretty expensive. I, I briefly talked to Tommy about it. Pretty expensive. Is it going to have to be trucked in? Where can we get that dirt? It's probably going to have to come from somewhere else because of the ongoing environmental assessment. It's my understanding that no dirt out there can be moved. So we're probably going to have to truck dirt in to do that. <clears throat> and since we knew, we knew about this so far in advance, <clears throat> what happened to the dirt that was there when they moved it during the construction? You know, these are all extra expenses that, that are added on to the original base bid. Um, where is that dirt now? 
And where was it when they realized that there was a mistake made during that blowout? We've already paid for it to be done wrong, and now we have to pay again for it to be done right. <clears throat> I keep hearing about mistakes. How many more are there? Do we really need to sit down and think about our, our contract that we have? I think it's for three or four more years with the LPA group. My understanding was a whole five-year contract. Um, do we need to re-examine that, or are there going to be more and more costs? Um, <clears throat> I think that not only should they be doing the, re, the, the redrawings for free, but perhaps maybe they should be responsible for some of the costs too. That it shouldn't be all on the taxpayers. <laughs> We're a subcontractor. I'm in the construction business. I understand this. And I'm very familiar with change orders and contract modifications. Both, as I said, are money added on to the base bid. Occasionally you have a deduct change order. But, Personally, it's real difficult to get paid for a change order. The only time that we can get paid for a change order is if the architect or the building designers have made a mistake, and we can prove it based on the drawings. It's the only time a change order, and we have to jump through hoops to get that done. Um, <clears throat> and it seems like every contract, you know, I've been coming to these meetings since October, every contract seems to have a lot of change orders and modifications. Uh, do we ever really bring any projects under budget? And are we planning the way that we should be? Are we doing the proper planning for these projects? And I'm really, really sad <clears throat> that the Sheriff's Department isn't even going to have a building because of the change orders resulting in cost overruns. Yet, we keep spending money at the airport over and over again. <clears throat> One last thing that I want to say is I want to wish Todd Pownell a very happy birthday. Agenda action on three consent agenda items. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Uh, Mr. Carmichael, uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Carries four. The no old business under new business action to authorize implementation of uh, 2014 early retirement plan for the Pauley County Sheriff's Office and Fire Department effective June 30th, 2014. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries four up. Number two, action authorizes the chairman to execute a contract amendment with Astra Group Incorporated in the amount of $129,069.96 for the rock removal, landscaping related to the construction of the West Memorial Sheriff's Training Facility. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries four up. Number three, action on amendment for to the engineering services agreement with Arcadis U.S. Incorporated for purposes of conducting treatability studies and pilot scale evaluation of treatment technologies proposed for drinking water treatment plant as part of the Richland Creek Reservoir Project at a cost of $486,468. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? Just wanted to ask, uh, we said this morning that that money's coming out of the loan that we have. Correct. We had somebody question this afternoon after the meeting. Yes, that's coming out of the $2.8 million loan. Okay. And uh, and this is something that's got to be done. We don't have to do this regardless. Yes. The reason you see it now is because we need to do as much of this testing as we can during summer months. So it needs to be started now. Otherwise, we're, we'll be delayed an you know, additional six, six, eight months waiting on next year. Okay. And it will be well into design of the thing next year. Okay. Almost ready to award contract. Okay. Thank you. Do we get a motion in a second? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Han er inde i øvrigt, det skal jeg sige. Og hun siger, ja. Ja, han er inde i øvrigt. Curious for. Number 4, action 2, approve the change order for modification of slopes and grand structures within the runway 31 safety overrun project at Hall and Northwest Atlanta Airport as submitted by a plateau excavation in the mouth of $176,856.60. Do I hear a motion? Can I interrupt this for a second, Mr. Chairman? Just procedurally, Commissioner Powell, um, I think he's called from the discussion time has not triggered yet until it's a second. Okay. I want to go back. Do I hear a motion? A motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. Now discussion. Okay. My discussion was on number three. Okay. This is why I wanted to go back. Um, so I apologize. You want to finish this one and then we'll discuss number three? Yeah. Okay. That's. So we have a motion by Mr. Graham. Mm -hmm. And a second. Uh, any other discussion on yeah. this item? Come on. Let me ask from this item. Yeah. A couple of questions. One, uh, the work has not been done for this change order yet. Yes, sir. correct. Correct. Okay. Yes, sir. And um, as far as the blowout, the actual blowout occurred sometime like in December or January of this past year. It's not, the blowout's not from years ago, it's from months ago when they were installing this portion. Yes, sir. Correct. Okay. And as far as the L LPA group long term, that contract began in 09, so it will be up for renewal next year. That is correct, yes. Okay. Oh, and the dirt, the dirt is out there. And yes. the, the dirt that we have been taking it from is not in the area that the new environmental assessment has to be done on. That is That's correct. correct. I think it's that may actually be on IBA, right? <coughs> yes, that is correct. Okay. Did they offer to cover any of the reconstruction costs? No, what they covered was the cost of, of the design and the cost of the construction management. Um, of course, uh, they uh, worked with FAA and Georgia DOT to get, to get the grant funding, obviously, to, to cover the cost of of the additional work. And they used a subcontractor to actually move the dirt and get it graded properly. One more time, sorry. So, so they use a sub, LPA just manages, has oversight of the project or they actually have the, the trucks and the yeah, equipment? No, no, no. The, the plateau excavation is going to do the work. Who, who did all of the other construction, they will do the work. Um, LPA okay. will do the, the construction uh, quality assurance and uh, construction management to ensure that it is constructed uh, per the design specifications and uh, other FAA documents. I guess your formal name is Michael Baker. That's correct. We, we continue to refer to them as LPA, but they, they are Michael Baker. Yes. Which is actually their stuff that comes to us that way. But now, and it was at the end, or, or they were wrapping up, finishing, when this occurred, they fixed it back or repaired the blowout, and that's when the engineers got involved. Is why did this happen? That's correct. It was just earlier this year. Yes, sir. Um, one, I'd like to thank you for the time today. Welcome. Met Blake out there this afternoon at four o'clock. So thank you. Couldn't think of a better place that I needed to be on my birthday. So I appreciate it. No, but I appreciate the time we spent about an hour out there, and I, I appreciate that. Um, and I guess Dave brought up the point um, on the Michael Baker Group, LPA Group. Um, I know that if we'd had, if those drawings or things would have been according to what you and I talked about today, I feel like that if those drawings and things would have been correct back then, we would have spent more money back then. Yes, that's correct. Okay, but I don't think we would have spent one hundred seventy-six thousand back then. Might have, might have been 150, 160. Yeah. It probably would have been some less, but not right. significant. Number. And so, Dave brings up the point that, you know, I, I appreciate them doing the work for free, mm -hmm. 
that part of it. But they've gotten paid on other things, but there's still a cost to the taxpayers wherever that tax dollar comes from. There is. Realize we would have paid for that construction management, however. So there, right. there is an offset between we're now getting the construction management for free and we would have paid for that before. Can I ask a question on that comment? I'm sure. Okay. Their construction management fee is based on the value of a contract. It is. That's correct. And uh, and then and then you you pointed out this morning that this the Michael Baker Group LPA Group um, their oversight or not seeing what was out there the way they needed to see it we're having to do this now and we had a couple of weeks ago in our meeting we talked about them doing an environmental assessment correct and of course I know they're under contract and so um, I just I would like for y'all to look at that again. I know they're under contract, but I've, I've still got some issues with them for several reasons. And here we are with with this issue here. Sure. If, if this were yes, sir, if this were an environmental issue, then uh, I, I would I would agree with the statement you just made. However, this is a, this is a design engineer which has absolutely nothing in the world to do with their environmental group. They're completely separate bodies. Well, and, and I agree with what you said. However. My view is they made a mistake. Sure. And with all, everything we got going on there, with the airport, with the environmental issues, I don't want a mistake made. I agree. So that's the that's the part I'm talking about. But I do appreciate you showing me out there today and the time spent very much. Absolutely. So we the rain. So it may sound like a little bit of an odd statement to make, but uh, the fact that they just made a mistake and they're now having to to take care of that uh, will. I certainly heighten their sensitivity <coughs> to that moving forward. I hope so. Thanks. Other questions? There's a motion and a second. Uh, I'll call for the vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. It passes 3 1. Uh, you wanted to go back and make a comment. I want to go back and, uh, yes, sir, please, on, on number three. When we got through voting on it, Mr. Carmichael uh, made a comment that said it's a lot of money. And so, um, I, of course, I voted for it. And that's done. And I've always trusted you. And you know that. We've always had a good relationship. I just want to know that we're doing the right thing. And, and I want to make sure that, that as we go on, we're spending this money that we don't get down the road somewhere and we look back and I see that I voted on things that were unwise and we should have done. And that's Mike Jones, Michael Carter, and that's where I, de I depend on, I'm trusting y'all as staff. And so uh, you were a little hesitant there for a second when you made that comment. And so, and I'm not saying that there's any reason not to. I just, does that make sense? I just want to make sure that I don't look back and say, hey, I should have. Well, my comment was, was based on just a lot of money. On lack of knowledge. Uh, I mean, if you just want to see if water, if you can drink water or not, um, you know, it just seemed like it would be a lot simpler than almost a half a million dollars. But, like you alluded, Mike and Mike, or Michael and Mike are the experts. PEs and you know, are highly respected in the They would just think we could go out there and dip the glass of water and yeah. test it. So my dog drinks You can do that. that. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You probably have lab force to, but no. The, um, the cost of the, the treatability testing is about 1%. Now, let's, let's make sure we understand where we are. We have a hundred and hundred plus million dollar project that's coming forward. This is a drop in the bucket for what's about to come before this board. So before we invest $50 million into a design of a treatment plant that we're then going to serve water to 155,000 residents and growing, we want to test it. And we're being required to test it by the EPA. Now we're evaluating two different treatment technologies. There are a lot of them available and everyone that walked in the door and continues to walk to the door that wants to help us uh, find what is that magic technology. We found two that work. 
for us for a lot of reasons. Energy consumption, availability of materials, um, the technology required to run it, the sophistication of the plant, um, the knowledge that our plant operators have on this type of technology. There are a lot of different reasons that it's been narrowed down to this particular, these types. So, um, but what we don't know is you can have all the engineering in the world says so this is how you build a brick and mortar plant. But if you don't do the treatability testing to make sure that the water chemistry works with that design, you haven't accomplished anything. So before we go build a $50 million water treatment plant, we want to spend 1% or half a percent, or half a percent uh, to make sure we got it where we need it. As Michael and I discussed I'm sure, uh, earlier today, uh, It's, it's, you're also testing the water that we'll be drawing from because every, every water's water to me. But to this stuff, some water would react differently to the test and would burn up those little bitty things in, in there and use them up faster and cost you more money. And that's another reason for the test is to make sure that we, we saw in item four that engineers can make mistakes. Correct. And, and you know, source water changes all over the state. Alatoona is as close as we can get. I mean, that's, that's as close as we can get until we actually do our own lake and, and pull from there. That's, that's the reason that it's done there. And also, you need to keep in mind, 211,000 of this 486 is, 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 is equipment. 130,000 is equipment is an equipment purchase that we keep that that is not something that goes back. 81,000 is is for the equipment rental for the two uh, dissolved air flotation units from the two different manufacturers. We have both sources at the uh, one call plant for Cobb Marion Water, and uh, I think pulling them in and helping us partner with them. I've learned a lot when I go to these conferences and uh, uh, to make sure that the, the water is acceptable. And uh, there, there's so many contaminants today uh, that's out there and we haven't seen anything yet until when you start seeing uh, drugs disposed of and those type of things and they get into the water system and it has to be tested for that. So there's a lot to learn at these conferences and just tiny bit of knowledge I have makes me appreciate what you guys do. And I expect when I ask you a question the first time that you tell me the truth, I don't have to ask you about it. Well, I just want to know at the end of the day, I think you know this, I just want to know at the end of the day, it's a, it is a lot of money. I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about the whole project. And it's something that we voted for and the citizens voted to do. And it's a scary thing to me sometimes, and I'm okay saying it. I just want to make sure at the end of the day that we're going to have what we need to have. It's going to hold the water it's supposed to hold, and we're going to be able to do with it what we're supposed to do with it. And then it scares me to see a lot of change orders, and our number that we feel like is going to be somewhere ends up, and then we're looking for how we're going to pay. So I'm being I'm being upfront and honest about it. So each time we look at these, it's I take it to heart. Just, and I know this is a drop in the bucket. So I, I appreciate your work. And it is the taxpayer <coughs> money. Uh, I don't ever forget that. I don't think anybody up here does. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, items from the two o'clock planning commission meeting set today at two o'clock, twenty fourteen oh seven Z. Application by Four Star USA Real Estate Incorporated to rezone approximately 80.74 acres residential district to BRD plan residential district for a maximum of 173 watt single family residential development with a possible senior living cost. Property is located in landlot 698, 742, 743, District 3, Section 3, west side of Seven Hills Boulevard, south of Nature Wall Parkway, Phil Stone Lane, and Opposing the eastern portion of both sides of Pine Ridge Path. This is in uh, 
uh, post four. Uh, there are 19 uh, stipulations. Do I hear a motion? Uh, I make a motion to actually table this until the July 22nd meeting. I know that, of course, Commissioner Barnett is not here. Uh, and he, there were a couple of issues with surrounding property owners that he wanted to make sure got worked out before we actually took the vote. I second. Motion second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Cares for us. That's the conclusion of a regular business session. Uh, we had no executive session. Uh, we have that discussion to go into executive session. So do I hear a motion? I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session. Who would have litigation and potential litigation? Second. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Here is 4-0. Uh, we will we'll be back on the chair. Uh, thank you all for being here. I don't think you want to leave yet, Mr. Frank. Is that right? Again, thank you, Boy Scouts, for being here.